Hello again, Michael here. Welcome back to The Joy of Code, Episode 9. This time we will continue again with our turtle scenario. We want to turn this eventually into a little game where the turtle will become the game character that we can control with our keyboard and the task will be to run around and eat all the lettuce. But to make it interesting, of course, there should also be a challenge. So we want to have another predator that's running around trying to eat our turtle. Um, so that is what we will do today before we do the keyboard controlling. You see at the moment the turtle is still running around all by itself randomly. Before we change this to make it keyboard controlled, today first we will work on adding the predator. I do that by adding another class and the class should also be an, an animal. I want a snake in fact. So I right click on the animal class and select a new subclass and then here in the image category for the animals um, there's a snake image somewhere. I think, oh, there are two in fact. Let's take this one. And then here it tells me that I still have to put in a, a name for the class. Uh, and I call it snake. By convention in Java, class names should always start with a capital letter. Java doesn't enforce that. It is not an error if you don't do it. But people will find your code very odd if you don't. So strong convention if you're naming a class always use a capital letter. That helps a lot in the code when we uh, whenever we see a name with a capital letter we know that's referring to a class. Okay so here is my snake. I compile this and immediately let's try that out um, what that looks like. I can put a few snakes in there. That is what it'll look like. At the moment of course the snakes don't do anything yet. Um, I want to make them run around and try to eat the turtle. That is quite similar actually to the behavior of the turtle that runs around and try to eat the, eat the lettuce. So for the snake here is um, the source code that gets generated. So that is what we're getting as a starting point. And we see there is an empty act method and tells me here that um, I write my code there. What I do is I will just copy the whole source code of my turtle. So everything within the class brackets, the act methods, random turn, turn at aid, edge, and the eating method. I copy all of this, just did that with my keyboard shortcut, um, and I go here and I replace this act method and paste. So here now my snake does the same as the turtle does. So it moves, it randomly turns a bit, it turns on the edge, that's all fine, and it tries to eat lettuce. That is what I want to change. Um, I want my snake not to eat lettuce but to eat the turtle. So here I call it try to eat turtle. And then here there is I look for objects of class turtle and eat the turtle. And of course I copy this because where I have the call here I also need to change it. And so my snake behaves pretty much like the turtle, except that it's not eating lettuce, but it's eating turtles. Here, I write um, a bit of commentary for my class. Um, okay, so I have a class comment. I can compile this. I get my initial scenario. I didn't have snakes in my saved setup so I put three snakes in here and then I let it run and here I can see that the snakes are running around there and there the turtle ran across the snake and the snake ate the turtle. I want them in my initial setup. I want the snakes in here as well so I put my three snakes in and then I can just save the world again and now this time it is saved with the snakes and if I now run this again the turtle runs randomly the snakes run randomly when the turtle runs across the lettuce it eats the lettuce and the snakes eat the turtle okay that is excellent that was quite easy to put in another creature that behaves in a similar way and next time we will get around to controlling the turtle with our keyboard but that is enough for the day see you next time bye bye